Visually, we can easily differentiate three types of meteorites. The iron meteorites, when it's cut and etched, this a very unique Finmarstetten pattern. Then you have stony meteorites, like this example over here, that look in this case very brownish because it's I've been on Earth for a very long time and it's quite altered. If it is the case of a fresh fold, it will look more grayish, uh, like in this case. And then you have a third type that can be visually distinguished. It's a stony iron meteorite like this slice here of palasite, a mixture of iron and olivine grains. This is based on the visual aspect. Everybody can see this different type of meteorites, but scientists have a more complicated classification that is based on compositions and texture that can be determined using a more sophisticated instrumentation like X-ray uh, methods or electron microscope. And this kind of investigation allows us, for example, in the case of the stony meteorite, to differentiate a lunar meteorite, meaning that this type of rocks is derived from the moon. Visually, it is a stony meteorite, hard to distinguish from another stony meteorite, but at looking at the chemical composition, we can certify that this piece comes from the moon.